All right, thank you for tuning in today, 227 of Jimmer's Jiu-Jitsu Journey. It is Tuesday. Uh, I'm going to night class tonight. I did not do any jiu-jitsu yesterday. Uh, I had my buddy Colby over to our house on Sunday and rolled on our mats here, Um, and that was really good. I can see uh, Colby's a blue belt from Alvarez Jiu-Jitsu in Arlington. Um, really strong, really, really good technically, um, and has just destroyed me for my 227 days so far. Uh, the other day we were rolling, and I um, I noticed that, um, so we always start on our knees because we don't have a huge amount of mat space, and I always just felt kind of lost starting on the knees until maybe like the last month or so, where... I feel like my body kind of has a plan somewhat attacking from there um, and what I don't want the other person to do and what they're doing and such. And I felt like I could feel that rolling with him. He's going to watch this video. He still, he still tapped me out multiple times. But uh, I felt good. I felt uh, like I could recognize his attacks a little bit more and kind of knew what I wanted to do a little bit more to get to places um, that I like going. So that felt good. Um like I said, I'll go to night class tonight. It'll be gi class. Um, today's video, I wanted to talk about how I got started in jiu-jitsu, why I started, and then uh, what has kept me going and what, what benefits I've seen and such uh, from doing this. I went to my first jiu-jitsu class with our buddy Hodge. went to Evolve Jiu-Jitsu in Fort Worth um, probably six years ago or so. I uh, went one time, and I loved it. Um, not long after that, I met my wife, and we started dating, and things moved along pretty quickly, and uh, I just ran out of any time to even think about doing jujitsu. So it was kind of the end of the dream for years and years and years. We spent um, we spent probably three or four years after that uh, working opposite schedules, working a lot of hours, uh, me working nights, her working days, both working nights. We had two kids trying to find sitters for the kids, you know, when when our shifts overlapped and things like that, and uh, uh, just no time or money. We, we were very poor for, for a couple years especially. Um, no time or money to think about doing something like this, so... Finally, during the pandemic, um, Hodge invited me and Colby over to his house, said, hey, um, you know, I got a gi, come over here, we can roll from time to time, see how you like it. I had time because it was during the pandemic, and uh, ended up rolling with Hodge, uh, Dustin Snow, he's a black belt, Hodge is a brown belt, pretty much a black belt, um, he's just had a lot of injuries, Dustin is a black belt. And then uh, Colby's a blue belt. So the four of us have spent a good amount of time over there rolling. Uh, rolled with Colby and Hodge and Dustin some for um, probably a handful of times over, you know, six, seven weeks, something like that. And just loved it and uh, knew I needed to join a gym so I could get somewhere where I was going more than once a week uh, to be able to improve like I wanted to. Uh, did a Did a Google search, found two in the area. Uh, ended up settling on one called Neanderthal Fight Company, um, and we love it. It is we've got. Uh, I do it. Our twelve-year-old daughter does it, and then uh, we have a five-year-old boy that does it as well. And uh, we love the gym. Uh, we love our coach uh, Monty Edwards and his wife Shandon. Um, her son uh, Dakota. He's another black belt at the gym. They're all awesome, um, and the whole crew there is great. So. That's how I got started with jiu-jitsu. Like I, I've said in a previous video, I grew up playing traditional sports, um, basketball, soccer, uh, a little bit of football and baseball when I was younger, wrestling when I was really young. Um, I've played I played an adult soccer league um, a couple years ago, but eh, I'm not great at soccer. Uh, was playing a lot of uh, basketball before coronavirus hit. I was going to a couple open gyms a week and then run in here at home trying to stay in shape and I, I've always tried to do something um, to stay in shape I don't love just lifting weights 
Um, so a lot of times it's been running and then workouts at home or trying to find open gyms for basketball, things like that. And uh, played softball, a few seasons of softball, slow pitch softball over the years. And so this was a, this was an opportunity to try something new during the pandemic. Loved it right away. And uh, uh, I've loved it ever since. I, I've said before I try and get in between three and six sessions a week. Normally it's four or five. Um, I love the challenge of it. I, I love that it uh, I love that I can see little incremental uh, progress that I make where I roll with somebody who's a purple belt and has destroyed me since day one and then I make more progress and more progress and now they have a hard time catching me or maybe a blue belt that used to just destroy me three times every roll and now it's hard for them to catch me and I will catch them every once in a while. Um, it feels good. I like I like seeing that progress getting better. I love the mental part of jujitsu. I, uh, I tell everybody it's like it's like physical chess where it's not about being more athletic or, or stronger than the other person, but if you're a step ahead of them, um, even even a, a guy who's 280 pounds, if it's his first month in the gym, I've only been training for six months, I'm still going to destroy him. Um, because if you're you know technically and mentally ahead of them, it's pretty incredible what you can do. Uh, the benefits that I've seen, um, I'm definitely stronger and in better shape than I've ever been probably in my life. Um, mentally, uh, less anxious, less racing thoughts, more focused. It's made me better with work. It's made me more confident as a person overall. Um, made me a better dad and husband, although I'm still not perfect. Uh, my wife's in the room. I figured I'd throw that out there. Um, it's made me better. It's made me more patient, more selfless. Um, I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. And that's all I got for today. I'm going to go to night class. I may do another video after that to make up for today. If not, I'll do do one or two tomorrow um, and try and get some video at some point of some of my roles. So appreciate everybody for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.